my secret to get into 10% body fat. It's not cutting carbs, it's not high intensity interval training or taking fat burner supplements. It is incorporating more regular walks into your routine. It may sound too simple, but going for extra walks is one of the most underrated methods for burning extra calories to increase your fat loss progress. I will show you exactly how I use walking to get leaner, and it's not just based on my progress. Hundreds of my online coaching clients have seen similar benefits with the method I'm about to show you. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video because I will show you exactly how much walking you should be doing for the best results. First, let's discuss why I recommend walking over running. If we compare a one mile run with a one mile walk, we see in this study that walking one mile takes about 20 minutes and burns 65 calories. On the other hand, running a mile takes only 10 minutes and burns 100 calories. Based on this information, you may think that running is the better form of cardio because you burn more calories in less time. But let's also consider the effects on your body after something like a run or a walk. When you have a 20 minute or even 40 minute walk, you typically feel fine afterwards. Walking is not that fatiguing, so you can continue walking more as a way to burn more calories without tiring out your body. Running on the other hand has a recovery cost to it. Doing more and more running tires out your legs as supported by this meta-analysis of 21 studies. When the participants ran for more than 30 minutes at least 3 times per week, their muscle development in the legs decreased. When you are in the fat loss phase, your nutrition will already put you in a calorie deficit and that might have an impact on your energy levels. If you then further tire out your body with frequent intense runs, you will probably see decreased performance in your leg workouts and maintain less leg muscle size as you lose weight. Because walking is low intensity and not tiring, you do not have the interference effect with muscle growth. Also, it is worth mentioning that your hunger can be impacted when you have frequent runs. A 2021 study found that doing many intense running sessions in a week made the participants move less after their cardio session and they also experienced more hunger, which made it harder to maintain a calorie deficit. Again, walking does not have this effect. After going for a nice walk, you will not feel exhausted, even if you do it daily. So walking is a more scalable form of activity that can help you burn more calories. Now, with all that said, I don't want you to think that running is the devil. I personally perform an intense run once per week for my cardiovascular health. But the point I am making is that if you want to burn more calories in a sustainable way, then running every day is not recommended because it can result in some unwanted effects. If your goal is to lose fat and get leaner by also maintaining muscle, Make walking your main form of daily extra activity to increase your calorie burn. And you do not even need that much walking to start seeing fat loss benefits. A great example is this famous 2017 study by the German Center for Sports Medicine. There were two groups in the study. The first group maintained a calorie deficit approach by eating 1700 calories per day. And the second group had the exact same nutrition approach. They just added a daily 22 minute walk to their routine. The second group that also walked an extra 22 minutes daily had 20% more fat loss progress after 12 weeks. And here's the cool thing, they lost this extra fat without losing extra muscle. If we look at the fuel source you use while walking, your body mostly uses fat for energy. While during moderate intensity cardio, research shows you burn more calories from carbohydrates. At the end of the day, if you are in a calorie deficit, you will lose fat overall whether your body burns more calories from carbohydrates or fats. But the fact that you directly burn fat during walking makes it less likely that your body will tap into your muscle glycogen for energy. This essentially means that the habit of regular walking is one of the most simple things you can do to boost your fat loss progress without running the risk of losing muscle mass. And as you saw in this German study, starting with walking an extra 22 minutes per day already is a great start for more fat loss progress. Now it's time to discuss what the research shows is the best daily step count to maintain. Of course, everyone's lifestyle is different, but the research does provide useful insights on how many steps per day we need to see the most benefits. A 2022 meta-analysis reviewed 15 studies and found that adults below the age of 60 years see the most health benefits when they maintain a daily step count between 8 and 10,000 steps per day, while individuals above 60 years old already get most of the health benefits when they walk 6 to 8,000 steps. Another 2023 research review of 12 studies found that the health benefits of walking seem to plateau somewhere around 8.8 thousand steps a day for most people. So from a pure health and longevity perspective, most people benefit from having at least 8,000 steps per day. If you currently walk less than 8,000 steps, kicking up your daily step count will improve both your health and how lean you can get. But let's make things more specific. Walking 8,000 steps per day is the general guideline. If you work outdoors, you may already get 8,000 steps before lunchtime. On the flip side, if you work at home, getting 8,000 steps per day might be a struggle. So to personalize your daily steps goal, First determine how many steps you typically have in a day. Whether you walk 10,000 steps per day or 6,000, 
Do not worry about it. Let's just determine the starting point. Based on a Harvard Health Review, during the 30 minute walk, the average individual will burn around 150 calories. In these 30 minutes, you walk roughly 3000 steps. So let's say you are in the fat loss phase and you are doing everything right. Your nutrition places you in the calorie deficit, you prioritize protein in each of your meals and you lift about three to four times per week. But still you notice your progress is slow and you want to speed up the progression. Instead of cutting your food intake by another 200 calories per day and kind of starving yourself, you can aim to walk an additional 40 minutes per day which will help you burn around 200 calories extra on a daily basis. Essentially, adding a 40 minute walk which will be roughly 4000 extra steps per day is the equivalent of eating 200 calories less per day so you can increase your calorie deficit for faster fat loss without having to further cut down your nutrition i use this method whenever i'm in the fat loss phase and want to get really lean as you can see here but also my online coaching clients use this method let's take my client elias from france as an example we made some good progress by just being in the calorie deficit and lifting weights consistently but once we added a 30 to 40 minute daily walk we were able to fully lean out the same goes for my online coaching client Scott, with just a high protein diet, calorie restriction and lifting weights, good progress was made. But adding that regular 30 to 40 minute daily walk helped us eventually reach 10% body fat comfortably. Because an extra 30 to 40 minute walk feels less tiring to your body compared to something like a daily run or eating 200 calories less per day. So if you want to speed up your fat loss process, incorporate a daily 30 to 40 minute walk which equals roughly an extra 3,000 to 4,000 steps on top of your current steps goal. Now, I can already see someone commenting, Yo Manir, I'm working 24-7 and I'm on the grind. I don't have time for a 40-minute walk. Listen, I understand. I am a business owner and find myself crushed for time almost every day. A useful mindset is to see your daily walk not as an extra responsibility, but incorporate your walking during activities you are doing anyway. For instance, if you have a meeting and it's an audio call, you could take this call while walking in a quiet environment. If you are stressed or mentally stuck while doing creative work, getting outside and doing a short walk actually helps your productivity as supported by this research. Also, if you want a relaxation moment after dinner, go for a brisk walk. That's what I do. Every day after dinner, I go for a short walk and also take the opportunity to call and check up on my parents. To further motivate you, there is research to support that a short walk after dinner improves glucose control and reduces long-term risk of diabetes. So there are even deep underlying health benefits related to a short walk after dinner. Another idea is to watch your favorite show or YouTube video while walking on the treadmill. Essentially, use the concept of habit stacking. Some of the activities you do every day anyway can be combined with walking. And that's basically how me and my clients are able to get very lean, close to 10% body fat using walking. Now, of course, the walking is an accelerator of your progress. The foundation of your fat loss phase will still be the calorie deficit, eating enough protein and lifting weights regularly. If you want professional guidance throughout your fat loss phase to set up this foundation, apply to my one-on-one -on -one online coaching service. Visit the link in my description to apply and I will reach out to you. We can set up a call to discuss your goals so you can be my next success story. For now, that's all for today's video. I have an awesome new video aligned for you here above to learn more about science-based training and nutrition. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you as always for your support and I will see you in the next one.